Hello, hello, good morning Philippines, or actually it's good evening Philippines from Singapore with love. Alright, good evening to all my classmates out there, hope you got it right, and actually to our dear professor, um, Sir Robert and Mr. Julia. Alright, so what do we have here? I'm right here in front of you to answer one of the toughest logic questions in mathematics. Whoa, scary is it? Alright, so... Come on, without further ado, let's get it on. Rock on, dude. Alright, so what do we have here? Okay, as an introduction, we have a certain island. Actually, it is called Island of Knights and Nades. It's This island is actually inhabited by two tribes, mainly the Knights and the Nades. The Knights, as chivalrous and noble as they are, they always tell the truth, no matter what. Really. Then the knaves always lie. Hmm. So, Mark, our handsome traveler, don't you agree? 100 likes, 2,000 shares for that. On his way to the island, he met two people. But he has no idea who they are. Oh, where Fox Mass, huh? Maybe anonymous group. Philippines, is it? Um, I don't know. So, he wanted to ask who they are and what are they doing. So as he approached person A, person A, A, person B is knight. He's a knight. Oh, really? Then when Mark approached person B, person B actually the two of us are opposite type. Oh, really? Hmm. Um. Then. Mark suddenly was confused. Are they telling the truth or are they telling the lie? Which is which? Which one is knight and which one is a knave? Knight or knave? Hmm, Mark being a, of course, good student of um, logic in the University of the Philippines, Open University, oops, commercial there, promoting, all right, he actually wanted to analyze this, not just depend on luck and chances. So, based on his analysis, there could be four possible answers. Both of them could be knight, or maybe one of them is knight. Maybe person A is knight, and person B is knave, or the other way around. It could be person A is knave, and person B is knight. Or... Oh. It could be both of them are knaves, and both of them are telling lie. Hmm. So he ponders a bit more and analyzes the situation. Hmm. Well, option one, if both of them are knight, person A statement will be B equals knight, which is true. Both of them are knight. But person B say the two of us are opposite type. So it couldn't be. It contradicts the very statement. Hmm. Now let's proceed to option two. Option two. If person A is a knight, of course he's not telling a lie, and he's saying that person B is a knight also. It couldn't be a knight and knave combination. Hmm. Now this one is a contradiction as well. And eh. now if we do the opposite. Knight, knave, and knight. Knave and knight. Hmm. If person A is a knave and the statement is that B is equals a knight, that makes it person B as a knave, if he indeed is telling a lie. So it actually contradicts our statement as well. Hmm. It means that we're down in number four. We can rush into conclusion, but wait. Let's analyze. Hmm. Our option four. Both of them are knave. Person A statements that B equals a knight. If he's telling a lie, then person B is actually a knave. Correct. Then person B say that the two of us or the two of them are opposite type, where a matter of fact both of them are knave, which is actually correct. Then it makes it a valid statement. Eureka! 
Now we have a conclusion. Both of them are knaves. Both A and B are knaves and they cannot be trusted. Oh, I hope that I answer your riddle and questions. Oh, I find it very hard, but come on, I'm still in logic. Alright, good night, people. Have a good night. Sleep well. Tomorrow is Monday. It's still holiday. I'm working. So, rock on. All the best.